Well, I was down at my office yesterday and uh, I checked the mail and I got some new stuff in. One of these things I've been waiting on for, for a freaking long time to be able to test it out and uh, um, I finally got it in. So let's go through what I got in the mail real quick. First off, stop by actually SAS, Southwest Automated Security. Those are the guys that are hosting me for uh, the book that's being released, How to Make Money with CCTV. And uh, you can find out more about the book at uh, howtomakemoneywithcctv.com. Southwest Automated has hosted me at Fence Tech 2019, and they are the US distributor of ProVision ISR. They gave me a couple products to test out. One of them is their server. So I haven't actually had a chance to take a look at it yet, but I've used a couple other manufacturers servers and where this has been real handy for is the uh, uh, license plate cameras. The license plate camera that I use, I really like the actual um, analog HD uh, license plate camera that I have. It's relatively inexpensive and uh, it gives me a good resolution and a good image um, at uh, approximately uh, 50 miles an hour. So anything below 50 miles an hour uh, I can use. But the fact that these guys have a server on top of that is, uh, is great. So now that we're going to be adding ProVision ISR to our lineup, it'll be, a, uh, it'll be a good idea that we use their servers as well too. Now, about this server, obviously it allows you to get an IP address on any analog video signal. I did not know it had a video out too. So if by chance, you want to integrate an IP address into your network, but you still have an analog camera and an analog video recorder, you can actually still run the out directly to it. Or if you have a spot monitor or something, let's say you actually have an analog out there. So that's kind of cool. But it'll allow you to make an analog camera IP addressable. The other thing is, is because it is a server, it also has, hey, what's up, Taylor? Uh, this is right up your alley. Thanks for letting me test this out for you guys. It also has a micro uh, SD card slot right here. So what this actually allows you to do is get that analog signal, record it locally so you have a backup, and send it out over your IT infrastructure. If by chance there is an issue with your offsite recording or your local recording, you actually can put an SD card in here and record it locally. So that's actually kind of cool. So uh, they were allowing me, they, they sent me home with one of these so I could test it out. They also sent me home with, I actually didn't see what resolution this was, uh, yeah, it's five megapixel. So they sent me home with uh, um, their five megapixel camera, and if I'm and Taylor, you could tell me this if I'm if I'm right or not. But I believe they have put a three year warranty on all the ProVision cameras that you guys sell. So, anyways, they sent me home with this one. Um, the resolution, because they have a display over there at the Dallas store. I'd imagine the other stores have a display as well too. I think they have over a dozen in the United States. This one's motorized as well too. So back in the day, you saw motorized uh, lenses. However, the resolution wasn't that great. So you really couldn't take advantage of it. So now that you have a bigger sensor and uh, more resolution, that uh, zoom feature, if you will, the motorized lens really comes in handy because you can put that thing 20 feet in the air or 50 feet in the air and still be able to actually zoom in in your field of view and get a detailed, a, a, a more detailed image because you have such a big uh, sensor and uh, higher resolution. So that's pretty cool. Uh, a ProVision ISR is going to be have their actual own booth at Fence Tech. So they're gonna have all their cameras on display as well as Southwest Automated um, will have a, a booth as well too. And that's in uh, Indianapolis. If any of you guys are going, we're releasing our new book there. So you might have opportunity to get one of the books for free, How to Make Money with CCTV. CCTV uh, and at, uh, how to make money with cctv.com. So anyways, uh, I can't wait to test that out. This has got to get done before fence tax. So I'm really hoping that I get that tested and get the server tested as well too. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with rotary gate systems. They also have a sister company called Janus. And one of the products, oh, and by the way, that's another thing, Taylor. That's They can actually pick this up at Southwest Automated as well too. I know that you guys have a display with one of their gates and this uh, Wi-Fi bridge on here. So what this actually is, all right, for guys like uh, 
Javier, who, uh, who uh, I see is watching, has a bunch of apartment complexes that he uh, runs. Um, what this device does is a couple things. So in a new installation, you can actually use the existing Wi-Fi infrastructure and add a door using this. So this will take a, a Wigan device. I'm not sure what bit length it is, but obviously 26 bit at the very least. I need to check to see what uh, bit length that it is. But once I re do a review at accesscontrolforum.com, um, I'll put that on the Facebook page as well too. Once I do a review, I'll have those details. But but basically this is a Wigan bridge so what it'll allow you to do is use your existing Wi-Fi infrastructure and control a door without having to run any wire now the great thing about that is because you're uh, on the, the the wireless network you're not limited by range so there's a lot of products out there right now that are um, promoting a wireless bridge that will give you a mile or two miles range. But what you have when you have a Wi-Fi bridge like this is the ability to basically be limitless. Wherever there's an infrastructure uh, with your network and a wireless infrastructure, you can be anywhere in the world. As a matter of fact, hey, what's up, Ron? What's going on, Daniel? As a matter of fact, you can actually have one access control panel at one apartment complex and control 15 different doors anywhere in the world without having to actually put access panels on there. Now the downside to it is you have to make sure your, your infrastructure is stable. Um, if it's not, if you're throwing in cheap wire, cheap router, and not doing battery backup, then you got a concern there. And that's the same concern you would have with any wireless bridge. But this is one of Janice's products, fresh off the press. He just sent this to me. You'll typically get a new box with a real, real nice manual all wrapped up and all that stuff. But we wanted to get it tested before fence tag. So Shane over there at, uh, at uh, Janus, they also own uh, rotary gate systems. I don't know if you guys uh, have ever installed a rotary gate system gate operator, but they're really cool for harsh environments. One of the things that they do is they have a track as opposed to a chain. And uh, with a track, you don't have to worry about the ongoing uh, concerns with salt water and corrosive environments because it's made out of an industrial resolution, uh, out, out of an industrial plastic. So you don't have to worry about uh, um, having it uh, uh, get rusted and all that stuff. So anyways, this is, I guess, their sister company. So with this Wi-Fi bridge, Wigan Bridge, uh, you also get this antenna. So if you don't have enough range right off the bat, I would imagine you just add this antenna and then I'll, that'll get you a little bit more range. But the fact that they have an antenna that it's not built onto it and you can add a different antenna and place it in different spots just moving it over an inch or two inches or whatever the case may be may give you some more range now one thing I know about this um, is that it does have an input on it as well too so with a lot of the doors and gate operators that we install we know that we actually have to have another input for fire department or for um, an exit input or a trigger off of a door that uh, uh, is a hold open sensor if the door's been held open too long. Now the great thing about that is with when you've got something in the cloud like this, you can do interesting things with it and that's what we're gonna look at when we get into the installation video when I put it at accesscontrolforum.com's YouTube channel. But having an input is so helpful to be able to trigger stuff for and then use that for notification on the back end of the of the cloud so thanks Shane for sending me this I will get this tested before fence tech we're gonna show you how easy this to, is to install at distances from around the world my sister over at EMX Darlene Brooks and if anybody knows Darlene me and her are identical I mean I don't know what was going on at that time but when we were both created, we, we came out identical, and, and you can tell it when you see us that we're, uh, we're related. So if this is what I think it is, this is the baddest photo eye you can ever get. Is it? Oh, yep, yeah, that's exactly what it is. EMX IRB RET. I love these things, man. These are what my standard is for 
under 40 to 50 feet in a safety photo eye. Um, they're UL 325 2016 2018 compliant. They work on uh, pretty much all the different uh, gate operators that there are out there. So whether it's a four wire or two wire or whatever the case may be. But um, I have an installation video of this that the Access Control Expert School just released. So whenever uh, EMX gives me the go-ahead to, to put that out, um, we're going to put out a free video on how to install one of these that, uh, that uh, will give you some more information with tips and all that stuff. So anyways, uh, they just sent me that. So uh, what they don't know... It's a little secret between me and a dozen people that are watching this is I'm going to beat the heck out of this thing because this thing is super, super durable and I'm going to put it to the test. They don't know that yet. Thought it was going to be a nice, good, clean installation and all that stuff. Love these photo eyes. They're real durable and it's just got all the accessories with the, uh, with the uh, reflector and all the hardware and all that stuff. But in that video, I give you a couple of tips about how to... Uh, how to uh, install that easily. So uh, that's uh, basically mailbox review. We got the EMX IRB RET from my uh, sister out in Ohio. Uh, we got the Jan Janus Wi-Fi bridge. And then the, the star of the, of the show was the ProVision um, server and then the ProVision five megapixel uh, camera. So those are, are going to get tested. Thanks again for uh, ProVision ISR hosting us at Fence Tech with the new book that we're releasing, How to Make Money with CCTV. Thank you to Southwest Automated Security. Thank you for hosting me. And this whole mess is going to get a high quality video with my GoPro, so I'll upload that as well too, so you can see that. And that's the easy stuff. The hard stuff is I gotta do reviews for all this stuff, so thanks a lot. Uh, Jeremy over at SAS, and thanks, Darlene. Um, we'll see you at the next family reunion. And uh, thank you so much, Shane, for this. Uh, the problem is, is now you've got to uh, help me trigger this wherever you're at in the world, and we'll figure out how to do that. All right, that does it. Thanks, Taylor, Pedro, Javier, Daniel, Ron. All right, man, we'll see you guys later. I'll be up at the SAS here in the next couple of days to say what's up to you guys. Talk to you later.